The High Plains Food Bank estimates one in three area kids doesn't have enough to eat. Pre-pandemic, it was one in five. Many kids rely on the food that they get at school for their meals every day. And when campuses suspended in-person learning because of the pandemic back in March, members of our community, school districts, and the High Plains Food Bank had to adjust to the increasing need in our community. It's a need that continues tonight. Child hunger is another consequence of the COVID-19 pandemic. More kids are relying on community food programs provided by federal, state, and private donations than ever before. And so it was 120% increase for us. I mean, it just went from literally not half, not a third, not fourth. It just just 120% is what we went to. Many families who have never had to ask for help finding themselves in a difficult situation. Nonprofits and private businesses have stepped up. I did not have any idea it would grow into uh, where we're closing in on 90,000 lunches uh, at this point. Shiley's barbecue and soul food owner Tremaine Brown distributes High Plains Food Bank Kids Cafe meals to kids in need. He says he immediately noticed the increased need in his neighborhood. But then during the pandemic, uh, with so many people losing jobs, some families went from double income families to zero income families, so they really uh, needed that assistance. Between the school districts and the kids' cafe, more than 41,000 meals are served every day, and more than 1 million meals were served through Amarillo ISD's drive and walk up food distribution sites in March and April. Usually a summer program, they started it two months early. But the need is far greater. While a million meals is a lot, it's it's really probably close to maybe a sixth of, of what we were used to. To meet the growing need, Kids Cafe has added additional meal sites. Um, then we also turned our kitchen into a site, which is exciting because um, we were standing outside for the 30 minutes after school every day, and we have our regulars that come by and they pick up their meal, but we've added a, a fridge to the outdoor uh, section of our building, and that sees about 40 people a day. 40 meals are served out of that fridge daily. Importantly, Sotelo says their food is available to anyone who is hungry, no questions asked. We definitely believe in feeding kids with dignity and part of that process of asking for food is difficult enough as it is for anyone, um, especially for kids. Through grant money from the USDA and the state of Texas, Canyon ISD is currently providing free meals to all students under the age of 18. Amarillo ISD has applied for that same funding. The school officials believe that funding may run out in December. So even though we knew that this opportunity is going to be for a short time period, I say short, we don't anticipate it'll go throughout the school year unless the waiver can be extended. We said for a time period, it makes a difference. And so for this time period, let's create this opportunity for all of our students. That's a problem for the families who rely on it. But Superintendent Dr. Daryl Flushi says for now, it's helping. The, the student uh, picked up their lunch and this is what they told uh, our, our cafeteria service person, they said, uh, my mom wanted me to tell you thanks for allowing us to have free meals in my family because we'll be able to pay our electric bill this month. It's pretty real. That's where a lot of our families are. And the fact that we chose to offer this benefit, even though it's for a limited time, it makes a difference today. An update for you now. Amarillo ISD did get that funding. They've been feeding people under the age of 18 for free since Monday. An additional challenge the schools and agencies are facing, of course, is staffing. They say they're increased, they have increased their sanitization practices and social distancing, but they're all dealing with staff who are sick or who are under quarantine because of COVID-19.